Greetings gang, lovely to see you all again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at The Unknown by Shadows Fall. Let's take a look. Excited. We're just going to talk about the tuning for this particular Shadows Fall song. They're in drop C, which is C, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Okay, let's have a look at the first section. I want to start from 17 of the second string. I'm going to play 17, 18, 20. And then I do the same again on the first string. Okay, then after I've hit 17, 18, 20 on the first string, I do 17, 18 again, but then hit 22, so it goes. Okay, and from that point, I kind of just reverse back down those notes again. So I go 17, 18, 20, 18, 17. All together. And at the end of that, it'll go. So I'm just going, uh, I'm just sort of doing a descend and then a descend, really. So I'm going. 20, 18, 17, 18, 20 on the second string. So the whole thing thus far now. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the second uh, little chunk of that is pretty much the same idea with a slightly different end. So it's exactly the same except for the last two notes. So the first two, or most of that first bit's gonna be the same. And this is the same as well. Now so when we get to the second string at the end of it, instead of going, we're gonna go 20, 18, 17. So those three notes are normal. And then I wanna end on 18, 19 of the third. So let's try uh, sort of both of those two ideas together from the start. that makes sense and then after that I want to jump to 17 of the second string and play 17 18 20 again and then what I do there is play 17 18 20 on the first string as well and then after that we do one that's sort of an in and out kind of uh, ascending descending thing so it's sort of going from like two groups of three to some sort of uh, groups of four notes I guess so when I get to that kind of rolling in and out thing I'm playing 17 18 20, 18, 17, and then 18 again. I guess that's six notes, sorry. So 17, 18, 20, 18, 17, and then the 18 again. So let's go from that little bit before. And I want to do that last little group of six twice, so it goes. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we've just got this little shred around at the end. Which is pretty cool. It's just um, the same like group of six three times. So I'm playing 18, 17, 15 on the first and the same on the second. I'm gonna go through those two groups of three, that whole group of six three times. At the end, end on that weird harmonic minor note on 18 of the third. So that whole last little chunk I'll play for you and then we'll do the whole thing. Let's try the whole section now nice and slow. So we've just come out of section one. We do have to play the whole thing twice. I did forget to fail to mention that. So the second time we've gone. I swoop to a sort of an angrier pickup and I go to this. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing 7, 9, 10 on the 3rd string and then I go back to 9 and give it a light vibrato and then after 
after that I go into this. So what I'm doing there is a flat finger on 7 of the 4th that's going flat to 7 of the 3rd. And then from there I go 9, 10, 9, 7 on the 3rd. We get more of that kind of weird spooky Lydian sound going 8, 7 on the 4th. At the end of that, I want to do a slide from 7 to 5, and then get back to 7. Give it like just sort of a light, squealy vibrato thing. Not to a Zach Wilde level, but just sort of a, a gentlemanly squeal. So we've got. Now we finished that nice little aggressive phrase, we go into these little sweeps, so we're going to get back onto something a little shreddy. What I've got here is um, sort of, I guess for in standard tuning it would be a D minor. It's one of these flat finger sweeps, which I'm not too fond of, but anyway, bad times approach. I'm going to pull off from 13 to 10 and then rolling that flat finger up to the third string. So I'm going 13 to 10 as a pull off, and then 10 of the second, 10 of the third, then back to 10 of the second. And then 10 to the first. And then I do a hammer on from 10 to 13 back to 10. So I go. And then we go to the major version of that, which is um, from 15 to 12. So hopefully we've got all of that guy. We'll add the new one in. I'm doing 15 to 12 on the first, 13 of the second, and then 12 of the third. Work my way back down on the arpeggio, 13 to the second, 12 to the first. And then from there I want to hammer into a pull off. So I go 12, 15, 12. Sort of go. And then after that I've got the minor. Got a little shred at the end as well. So this would be, I guess, D minor in standard tuning, but uh, this I guess would be in C. I'm doing the pull off from 17 to 13, then hitting 15 of the second and 14 of the third. And then to uh, reverse that back down again, I'm playing 15 to the second and then a hammer on from 13 to 17 back to 13. So we've got. And at the end of that, I play 13, 15, 17. It's just uh, some shredded notes. So let's try the whole section a little bit slower. section, very shreddy. I'm going to start from 17 of the 4th string and play 17, 19, twice. 17, 19, 20 twice. A bit of a mouthful that one. And then we want to jump to 15 of the 3rd string and play 15, 17, 19 twice. And then I do a double little shred here on the 2nd string. I'm playing 17, 18, 20 twice. Right, and then after that I go. So this is this time I actually got some legato happening. So I do my shreds all the way up to the first string, and then this one I'm just going in and out all in one pick. So I'm playing 17, hammering 18, 20, pulling off 18, 17. So I'm getting five notes out of that one pick. All together. Okay, then after that I get some taps happening. Well. So this last phrase is pretty much the same thing across the first and the second string. We do both of them twice. So I'm doing a tap on 22 and then pulling off 20, 18, 17. And I quickly hammer back to 18 and then pull off to the 17. So I go. And the same thing on the second string from 22, 20, 18, 17. And then another hammer on into a pull off. twice, I play 19 of the third and vibrato the crap out of it. Alright, let's try the whole thing now a little bit slower. And that's The Unknown by Shadows Fall Solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.